politics, right? I've spent 33 years in business. The past 23 years, I've started my own business. I employ over 700 people, and it's hard. It's hard to make tough decisions, but we do it, and we do it every day, and that's what our president does. Our president is a leader. Our president can make tough decisions, and our president has really good policies. And our president does one thing better than anybody I've seen. He puts America first. So let's talk about putting America first. Let's talk about bringing some jobs back to our country on our soil. I think that's critical for the economy. We need to open Michigan up and get people back to work. Because when people are productive, they are happy and they are healthy and that's what we need to do. And let me tell you another thing about our president today, which I am amazed at. Look at who, who he supports. Do you see our president talking about defunding the police? Never, never. Look at all he's done for the police. And I'm up here and I've gotten ridiculed by it and I've been called a racist, I've been called a bigot, I've been called a lot of names, and there has been a lot of mud being slung, but you know what? It doesn't matter, because just like our president, I'm a fighter, and I'm gonna go to Washington to help him fight. And I'm telling you right here, right now, I'm not beholden to anybody but you. Washington does not own me. The swamp does not own me. Let me tell you, the swamp does not want Lisa McLean in Washington. They don't want another conservative outsider like our president. And if you listened last night to Corey Lewandowski, he said the same thing. And he endorsed me along with um, Sheriff Clark. But, I, but more importantly, you need to have somebody who will stand up. And I'm sharing with you right now, we do not need to defund our police. We need to defend our police with every fiber of our being. And we need to stand up and open your mouth about it. And support our police, period. Because you know what? The haters are gonna hate and the mud's gonna keep slinging. But you know what? We are loud, we are proud, we are strong, and we will not be silenced. And you need somebody to go to Washington who's going to rally some people up, who's going to say what's on their mind, and who's going to get some things done. And it, it needs to start with let's open up the state and let's, let's get back to some law and order. Let's get back to the rule of law. And let's start supporting the Constitution that this great country was built upon. So I am going to ask you, please tell your friends, tell your neighbors, Get out and vote and open your mouth. Open your mouth for our president. Open your mouth for our police because they need you right now. They are out there fighting day in and day out. And you know what? You need a conservative outsider, proven job creator that will not be silenced. And that's me. So please vote August 4th, but more importantly, let's support our President Trump. Woo!